it's Wednesday, which means it's time for KTK Gives Back. First responders in Jacksonville are celebrating this morning as the city is getting a new public safety complex. KTK Today anchor Isaac Ramirez joins us live where a groundbreaking was held. Isaac, how excited are they about this new facility? Cynthia, everyone is uh, pumped out here for the groundbreaking. The groundbreaking was held earlier this morning, about 40 minutes ago. Everyone was excited. They had such a huge crowd out here. Uh, of course, excited for a new facility that's going to be in benefit for the community. So joining me this morning are both the police and the fire chief. We're going to ask them a couple of questions about this public safety complex. But first, we're going to start with Chief Williams. Chief Williams, you are the new police chief for Jacksonville. How excited are you for this new public safety complex. Not only do I love my job and this, this new career move, but we get to build a brand new building, state of the art, with our partners, uh, first responder partners, and uh, man, it's exciting, exciting day. And how do you think this is going to benefit your department and, you know, the people they serve? Sure. Uh, having this all together with a, a new technology, uh, we're uh, meeting space, training rooms, uh, everything that we don't currently have. And, I mean, because you guys have really outgrown that facility as well, so I'm glad that y'all are getting that. But uh, I'm also going to ask you this. How are you liking Jacksonville so far? I love it. This is a fun city to be a police chief at. I got great employees, great partners with the fire chief, and uh, enjoying every minute of it. Yeah, thank you, Chief Williams. Now we're going to speak to Fire Chief Fortner. Uh, chief Fortner, I know you guys are excited. Y'all bought a few years ago a ladder truck, and y'all could barely get it to fit into current station, right? Oh, well, we've had the ladder truck for quite some time. We've had to house it at station two because of the length of it. Uh, we've outgrown our station many years ago. So uh, now that we have uh, more equipment, larger equipment, bigger staff, it, it's, it's long overdue, and we're excited to be able to spread out. Mm -hmm. And so what are y'all looking forward to the most uh, out of this facility? What is it that uh, you're mainly looking forward to? Well, we're excited to not only have the space that I just mentioned, uh, it's exciting to know that our police counterparts are right across the way, so if we ever need them or they need us, that we're right there. It's going to be a good hub for the citizens to find both uh, entities. Uh, we're excited to, to be able to spread out and have, uh, as Chief Williams mentioned, state of our equipment that we just have not had. And this could also possibly improve response times as well. This could maybe help you cut them down a little bit. Well, we're hopeful of that. Uh, it's, it's a good central location of the city to reach uh, both north and south ends. Mm -hmm. uh, we do still have the uh, fire station on the east side of town, uh, station two, and that will remain open to serve that side of town. Uh, but as far as uh, the bigger area of the city, yes. Mm -hmm. And, and what, what's the price tag? What are we, what are we thinking here? Uh, I think we had said seven million, right? Uh, I don't don't get me lying. That's a <laughs> I'm the fire chief and Joe's the police chief. That's a city administration question. Yeah. Uh, but you know they're saying as well that this facility uh, within a year you guys are planning to hopefully uh, have it ready to go, right? That's what they're uh, forecasting, and, and so we're sitting here biting our nails waiting. Well, hopefully it stays that way. Thank you guys so much, and of course we appreciate all of the first response here in Jacksonville. Again, we are recognizing Jacksonville first responders today as they celebrate uh, this new facility that's going to be going on here uh, in a year is when they expect it to have it built. They are now, both the Jacksonville Fire and Police Department, will be re-entered to possibly receive a $5,000 donation from Peters Chevrolet. So, of course, we thank Peters very much for every week allowing us to go out here and re uh, recognize a different group of first responders. I'll see you on next Wednesday for another edition of KETK Gives Back. I'll see you uh, back when I get back, Cynthia.